Welcome back to the channel fam. Hi, I'm Lita and I read cards. So today we're going to do um, a deck review. I'm going to open it. You know, we're going to flip through and all of that. Um, it's actually, this is not my deck. This is my daughter's deck. Um, but you know, she donated it for use on the channel today. Um, especially since I'm her teacher. So I'm going to go on and uh, look through the deck and interview it and get the feel for it. So. Um, it is the Garbage Pail Kids deck. Um, who is the author? Minerva Siegel. Okay, illustrated by Midon Kim. Kim Midon. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. When I was growing up, Garbage Pail Kids was my shit. Okay. Yes, I was one of those kids that collected them, traded them. This was my generation. So I know some of you are really young and y'all are just looking at it like, oh, this is a cute piece of nostalgia. But for me, this shit is life. For real. So let me open her up really quick. Let's see what we're working with. Oh, well, it's nice and snug. There we go. Okay, so we have the guidebook on top with what I'm supposing is judgment. I'm supposing this is judgment on the top here only because um, of the trumpets, you know, coming out of it. But I don't know. We'll find out in a second. Um, there are a few spreads in the back of the book. Um, I guess some... Um, Oh, okay, so they actually go through every card. Uh, looks like they have some um, tips for uh, tarot reading. Well, shit, let's get to it. I've been looking forward to seeing this deck for a minute. And I, I haven't been buying decks. I haven't bought myself a deck in... I believe I haven't actually bought myself a deck in two years. It's about time, huh, fam? So this is what the um, back of the deck looks like. And here's our deck. So let's just get to it. The Fool. The Magician. I really like that. Ooh! The High Priestess. I really like this because it's like she's a... Uh, I don't know if it's zooming in for y'all right but it's like she's like a caterpillar um alien the empress the emperor oh look at the higher offense with the big brains the lovers The Chariot. Wish up. Let me know what you think about this card. <laughs> Strength. The Hermit is pretty decent. I really like this. Oof. I'm in love. The Wheel of Fortune. This is pretty fucking traditional for a whimsy deck. Um, justice. With all the snot. Snotty nose Libras. <laughs> the hangman. Death. Yeah. So I think that other card was judgment because there's death. Temperance, the devil, the tower, that's very interesting, the 
the star is hella tatted up, okay? And for this to be an Aquarius card, I want to shout out my daughters, okay? Hey, Samika. Hey, Saphir. My Aquarius daughters are tatted the fuck up. One of them actually even has a star tattoo on her arm from her favorite tarot deck. Mm. Accurate. <laughs> the moon. Oh, she's half full and she's half, oh, half new and evil. I love it. The sun. And as I guessed earlier, judgment. The world. Okay, so we're going to move into the suits. Um, it looks like they start off with the kings and work their way down. So let's do it. King of Cups. Yeah, he's a little snappy. I like that. Queen of Cups. It's a beautiful mermaid. Knight of Cups on the move. Page of Cups. I, you know, I'm actually really digging the way this is interpreted. Okay, okay. Ace of Cups. Oh, I got some sticking. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. I don't know why, but the Five of Cups, for some reason, it looked like it said Evil of Cups. Interesting. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Okay, now we're in the uh, Pinnacles or Coins, King of Coins. Ooh, he is a Leprechaun King. Mm, mm, mm. <sighs> Queen of Coins. <laughs> Knight of Coins, Page of Coins, well, I don't know if y'all can see this, but the coin that's actually on here says like, don't barf on me or something, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. Ace of Coins, I, one of these days I'm going to end up doing a reading with this and I want to tell y'all what this looks like to me, mm -mm -mm. Two of coins, three of coins, four of coins, five of coins. I'm strictly roots, six of coins. Seven of coins. Eight of coins. Nine of coins. Hmm. Mm hmm. Ten of coins. I can tell I'm going to read, uh, read this book today. We're into swords. King of swords. Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords, Ace of Swords with the fingers cut off, Two of Swords, Lord, look at the pits on the Two of Swords, Three of Swords. Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords, 
I, I like the connotation on this one. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Ten of Swords. All right, we're into Wands. King of Wands. Queen of Wands. Knight of Wands. Page of Wands. This might be the prettiest card in the deck. The prettiest one. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. I, I really like, um, we're going to talk about this card because it, um, something about it is kind of giving me the idea that the um, uh, opposition is not like other people. It's like the opposition is just like from the universe. It's just like madness or chaos. I'm going to have to talk about this card eventually. Um, six of Wands. Seven of Wands. Live up in my hatred. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. And we've made it to the end, fam, with the ten of wands overall i want to say i really enjoy um you know the artwork but um the actual interpretation that the artist took on this i really like it i like i really like it i can see this being a very insightful deck i'm going to do a quick interview you guys know how this goes i do it from time to time just so that you all can see my process let me there we go. Let's move it this way so y'all can see as I'm doing it. All right. So the first question I always ask the deck is how would it like to introduce itself to me? I'm going to tell you, this deck is very shuffable. Um, the cards are in between being um, really thick, but they're very pliable. Um, they're not sticking. I had a couple stick, but they're not sticking they shuffle well they shuffle well I, I like this deck it has a good feel to it all right so how would you like to introduce yourself to me i understand i'm not mika but i'll be helping her to understand you first of all let me ask that real quick are you okay with me helping samika understand this deck by the two cards please well I am getting a little stick as it's time to come in. So the deck says the world and the devil. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you, it's kind of like it's a double-edged sword, okay? The answer the deck is giving me is kind of like, this is like a double-edged sword. I asked, are you okay, you know, with me getting to know, you know, the deck before Mika? Is it okay if I get to know you? And, you know, then introduce your energy to my daughter. Okay. And we have the world, which is really about um, closing out cycles, mm -hmm. doing things the way that it's ordered, divinely ordered. The deck is kind of like saying, hey, that's that's the way of the world. That's the way it was meant to be. That's a yes. But on the other hand, I think the deck is uh, trying to say I will be attached to this deck. Um, I don't think the deck thinks that um, I'll be able to let it go back to its original owner. But I, I think I will. We'll see. Okay. So how would you like to introduce yourself to me? How would you like to introduce yourself to me? Three cards, please. Okay. One of the cards that I said I absolutely 
love the way it's portrayed. Six of Swords. Five of Cups. I mean, Five of Coins, pardon me. And the Six of Wands. I know exactly what this deck is saying. Let me see what is on the bottom. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. Okay. First of all, this deck wants me to know that it has everything that I want in a deck, okay? And and that's so true because, like I said, I am a garbage pale kids aficionado. I wish I still had all my cards, but um, I had them boxed up. And when we moved here, they got lost. It's one of the things that got lost when we moved to this last house. Um, but the way that the deck is introducing itself, I want you to see this is six, five, and six, okay? Um, this is a nice little pattern going on here. Let's see if I can get in so we can get a good look at it. There we go. This deck is the type of deck that's going to get me the answers that I need. It's going to get me there. Okay. But it's been kind of slow. It's been kind of slow. And it's giving me this in this five of coins here as if like it's been left out in the cold because my daughter's had it for a while and hasn't opened it. Okay. It hasn't been opened. It hasn't been used. All right. And the card wants me to know that it's out. It's out of the box. It's feeling good. We are going to do some serious work together. We have the six of wands here. We're going to be victorious together. I had another deck before that told me this. And to date, it is my largest performing video. <clears throat> when I read it, it went further into, you know, how it was going to um, make me more popular. And I just couldn't really see, you know, um, how that was going to work out. And it did. So this deck is basically telling me the same thing. It's like, because with this being on the bottom of the deck, it's like this deck is telling me, I'm going to help you get the things that you want. I am everything that you want. I can help you find the luxury that you're looking for in life. And then, and then it tells me all of this. Okay. So basically the deck wants me to know that it's pleased to be out of the box. It's taken a while for it to get used, but now that it's out, it's happy to be used and it's ready to do some work it's ready to get a fire lit okay so let's get the fire lit um the next thing i often ask um my deck is does it identify as male or female i'm gonna pull two cards for that do you identify as male or female and i know some of you um don't necessarily uh subscribe to the idea of male or female only but this is my deck It's a she. An Aquarian she. Mm -hmm. Let me count the stars just real quick, guys, for my own knowledge. Just my thoughts. Seven. And then the sun. Seven and the sun. Okay. All right, so she's a she. Um, what type of readings do you or would you enjoy doing the most with me? What kind of readings would you enjoy doing the most with me? Three cards, please. All right, we can do that. We have the two of swords. We have the world. Let's go back for our last one. And we have the three of coins. Okay. Okay. The bottom of the deck is the seven of coins. I'm going to tell you, this deck wants to do, um, answer questions or do work that has to do with growth. Um, this deck likes to answer questions about things that people have a hard time making decisions on. Okay. The hairy, ugly things in life, you know, that everyone's turning their head to. This deck wants to answer those. The world. This deck wants to talk about mystical, magical things. The workings, the four directions. Just the planets, everything. But also, in particular, shit about the internet. And about um, uh, 
third well damn because i see i see it says trash in trash we trust okay third parties this this deck is a little messy it's cool i'm a little messy too um third parties or situations um where people have to work together um or figuring out what other people are doing behind your back Knowing someone's steps in a situation where they're involved with you. Yeah. That's the type of work this deck wants to do. Y'all know I only have a couple more questions from for Miss Deck. Okay. Um, um, how would you describe me as a reader? It's always important to know how your deck feels about you. How would you describe me as a reader? Three cards, please. Queen of Swords. Boy, y'all love throwing that Queen of Swords at me. King of Coins. Ace of Wands. Bottom of the deck. Five of Cups. Let's be real. As a reader, this deck feels like I've kind of lost it a little bit. You know, and I'm just really getting back. If you can see back here, this is a pretty happy scene in the background. It's like, um... Damn, I, I kind of lost what I had. I kind of lost what I had going on. I kind of lost the camaraderie that I had, you know, with um, the spirit or the emotions, you know, or the movement of energy. But I found myself in a new connection, a fresh new love connection as a reader. And the deck is absolutely correct. Um, sometimes the, the deck thinks that I'm unorthodox um, as a reader. Um, sometimes I lose my head a little bit. It's a little bit off in the clouds, you know. Um, what else do you think about me as a reader? Oh, my, um, my crown has changed. Um, yeah, yeah. The way I'm viewing things has changed. Everything isn't put back together just yet. Okay. So, um, the deck sees me as really just getting my shit together again as a reader. Um, wow. Am I really like a greedy little leprechaun? As a reader, this deck thinks that I hoard decks and flowers. And coins. Yeah, I do. I, I have coins on the table right now. Always coins. And it's green. And you're right. And I've switched over to green. That's some shit I'm on right now. I love this deck. I love this deck. Um, And as a reader, you know, this deck feels like um, I give people uh, new roots. Um, new light. New life. New ideas. Um, new sparks. New fires. Um, and, and also maybe that I uncover things, um, that aren't quite out in the open. Not that it's new, you know, not that I have created something new, but, but that as a reader, I'm creative and I uncover things so that they can grow for others. Okay. And I would agree. I, I think I'm that type of reader, but I don't think I've ever saw myself totally like that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. How do you see me as a person? We'll do two cards for that. Who I am as a person is not who I am as a reader. <laughs> so she feels like sometimes I'm um, indecisive or I don't want to make the tough decisions in that. That, that's very true okay um she thinks i'm a, a little bit of a flirt a little bit of a romantic um but she also feels like i attract a lot of opportunities and that i share a, a lot of uh wealth a lot of whatever i have i'm sharing and offering to other people you can see it again over here in the three of cups um she she feels like i'm a friendly person um like overall joyous sunny disposition type person um it, it's nice to note that she gave me um both cups which says that she feels that i'm a very feeling person and i have been feeling very emotional recently and so i'm very pleased with this answer and let's get into the last two questions for the deck okay i do this with every deck. sometimes i don't do the full interview um because sometimes a deck kind of gives off the energy that it doesn't want to be questioned in that manner. And so I take time and just, you know, ask questions to kind of calibrate the deck and figure out what's going on. Um, but this one I always ask, please show me your favorite card in the deck. 
the moon. Now, this is a card I told y'all that I also really like. It's definitely showing a lot of things that the moon attracts, good and bad. Yeah. All right, so um, let's ask why this is her favorite card. Two cards, please. Why is this your favorite card? Well, for one thing, um, I kind of feel like uh, maybe this deck is ruled by um, the energy of the moon, okay? Or in my world, Celine. Um, it's almost as if like she's a lover of the moon. Um, she's a lover of the way that the moon um, controls the tides, as you see here. And this is also about tides and direction. I don't know if. You can see, um, you know, the water in the background. The two of wands is about taking new direction, you know, setting out to do new things on the world. And I think that to me, it's kind of looking like um, the answer is it's just that the moon is a really big guide. The, mo the moon is a beautiful thing to stare at. The moon gives us um, insight on love and uh, prosperity. We have a lot of fish here. I also feel like uh, maybe she feels like this, this card is pretty lucky. Um, and most decks do point out cards that they find to be lucky. So we'll remember that when I'm doing readings with this deck, if this deck, if this card comes out, this is a luck card. Um, and it definitely really could be about the turn of luck with, you know, with the two sides here. We have a two here, which also allows me to know she likes this card because of its duality. Um, and I think it just helps you to sort things out. So it helps you to get untwisted. All right. And then we'll go into our last question, which will be, what is your least favorite card in the deck? Here's your least favorite card in the deck. Oh, wow. The sun. Okay. 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 So I'm going to, I'm going to give you a better understanding of why the moon is the favorite card in this now that I know the sun is its least favorite and why. Please tell me why with two cards. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. The moon card is not about just light. Just light work or just the light or the lit path. Okay. The moon card is about a good balance between the light and the dark. Okay. Which has more to do with being more balanced. Okay. The sun card is totally about the light. And, the, and I'll be honest with you. Um, a lot of alchemists, magicians, or people that are really in the know are not very happy or satisfied with a total light path. Um... It's a very naive. Um, and basically that's what she's saying. She's saying like the the sun card casts such, um, you know, a bunch of light. It's like people are misled. It's like people see the sun card and they immediately think that, you know, everything is going to work out fine. And, you know, they have someone on their side that's helping to make things easier and more fluid or whatever. Can you give me one more? Help me tie up this sentence. Yeah. She's like, even when the sun is present, towers are too. Um, she just doesn't like the perspective of this car. She feels like people feel a false sense of security when they see this car. And she's saying that's just not how it is. Okay. We're going to have fun together. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, flip through of the deck and um, quick interview. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to have fun with this deck for sure. Y'all be on the lookout for it. I think I'm going to do a reading with it either tonight or tomorrow. Okay, guys. So I'll see you all in the next video. Love you. Bye. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a wonderful day. See you next time.